Hi, I'm Ramsey Awad, Public Works Director for the City of Rancho Palos Verdes, and today I'm standing on the drill rig here for the emergency hydrogger, where we're installing test boreholes in advance of the emergency hydroggers. Boring started on Tuesday and went a little bit faster than expected. Today we're actually wrapping up the borehole here, and at this point in the process, what the team will be doing is installing instrumentation at the borehole so that we can use that information to guide the exact location of the underground drains for hydrogger, emergency hydrogger E1. We are not only drilling, we are taking soil samples at different elevations. You will see the soil samples out there. Uh, the, once we determine from the uh, data where the initiation points for the for these areas are going to go was most likely if we stay from there they will be there we'll we'll start the horizontal and uh, 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 directional drilling this has been a long time coming i know we have spent uh, several months if not almost a year uh, planning this this is the first step in several steps um, to determine where the proper location is for the hydrogger and the actual uh, uh, arrays that will pump the water out of the ground. This is one of several locations that will be installing the vertical test bores and ultimately the study from each of the test bores will determine the location of, of the arrays and um, the final location of the hydrogger. We anticipate, and I know many of us are, are very eager to see um, a shovel in the ground and actually seeing results with water being extracted. This is what started on Monday and it is Thursday today is um, an indication that we are moving fast and we, are, we plan on hopefully by um, near the end of July to be able to start pumping water out of the ground based on the, the next several weeks of studies that we do. And it's, it's important to also note that it, we weren't originally intending to do these test bores, and I think ultimately we decided to spend a little bit more time and a little more money to do this because it'll yield actual data that will give us more accuracy to know what we'll end up extracting from the ground and where the precise location should be.